Mike's Daily Podcast. I gotta do it. I gotta do this show. I gotta do this podcast. And I'm Mike's Daily Podcast. At 2112. That is, that's the Rush album I was thinking of, right? I think I'm not so sure. Am I right? I don't know, but I can't stink at doing this podcast because it will mean. Yeah, 2112 is the album. Dang. Well, it had that pentagram on the front. Mike's Daily Podcast. Which means the devil. Satan? Yes, I think. Mike's. It got people's attention Daily when it came out. Podcast. Because they were like, what is this band? Yeah. 1976 that came out. What was I doing in 1976? Well, I was all about the bicentennial of America, 200 years old. And we were so happy, and we were little whistles, and I was hitting my drums. And we were walking down the street because we had our little colonial outfits on. And the Freedom Train came through. Freedom Train! That's right, there was the Freedom Train. It came through... Where I, where was it? We had to drive, I think, somewhere out to the San Gabriel Valley or something. By the way, I'm looking out over the Pleasanton, Livermore, Diablo Valley, and it's all smog, choked with fire and smoke. Well, not fire, but the smoke is just sitting there, and you can't see across. Just the worst breathing now. Just no air, no good air, no air. Is that a Jordan Sparks song? And that's why I do a podcast is because I remember songs. And I'm not going to sing all Simple Minds because I think I turned off some of my listeners with all my singing. I don't have a wonderful voice, I know. But I do know I love some Simple Minds. Not just the band, but people with Simple Minds because they're entertaining. At any rate, the San Gabriel Valley. And here's today's podcast picture. Looks like how the Diablo Valley, Livermore, Pleasanton Valley look. San Gabriel looks like all the time. Right now, it's just because of the fires. And someday this will blow out and will be nice, clear air. But man, San Gabriel Valley, the worst. Just, ugh, horrible air. Why did I bring it up? Because that's where the Freedom Train was. Freedom Train. You treat Freedom Train. And 2112 Rush, it was a concept album. Their, the band's label didn't want Rush to do another concept album. Basil didn't want them to do another concept album. He's like, what? What's this crap? I want songs. I want snappy pop songs, Rush. Give me more Tom Sawyer and less long, complete... Uh, you, um... Closer to the heart Yeah Thank you Getty Lee For your wonderful album And Neil Peart The late great Neil Peart Who we lost not too long ago And uh, uh, Alex Lifeson And uh, I went to see Oh Here's the track listing for 2112 Lessons, Something for Nothing, Tears 2112 Overture The Temple of Oh, Syrinx, that's right Oh gosh, my friend um, Discovery, Presentation, Oracle, The Dream Soliloquy, Grand Finale My friend Mike loves This band so much And so I go and see Twilight Zone and Passage to Bangkok I went to See Rush twice And the first time was at the Forum in LA and then the second time And that show was okay Primus opened That was incredible I'd never heard of Primus before And then I was whoa And I think most of the Rush fans didn't know who Primus was But that was a good show Then the second time was at the Irvine Meadows Amphitheater That's gone That's condos now Before it was the Irvine Meadows Amphitheater It was Lion Country Safari Where you take your car And drive through uh, just a bunch of just a bunch of land. They'd lock the gate behind you. It was basically <laughs> Jurassic Park with a bunch of lions walking around, thinking about eating you. That's what it was back 
back, way back. So the, the, the second time I saw Rush, Irvine Meadows Amphitheater, the band Mr. Big opened for them. I'm the one who wants to be with you. Deep inside I know you feel it too. Lay it on a line of pinks and blues. Just enough to be, to be with you. It was like the last gasp of hair bands. And the only way hair bands, hair metal bands were getting on the radio was if they did a pop song. Like your Def Leppards did love, love bites, love bleeds. And Guns N' Roses had Sweet Child of Mine. And everybody had, oh, November Rain. Can't forget, that was their big power ballad. And then you had... Who is their hair metal bands? Oh, come on, Mike. Bad English. Oh, uh, there was Kicks. Um, oh, Skid Row. Remember yesterday, 18 and life, and all the other ones. Oh, Warrant. And I saw red heaven isn't too far away. Okay, the last gasp of all of that. Was to be with you By Mr. Big In my mind anyway I don't know if that's exactly the truth But I sat very close to the front row With my friend Mike And the guitarist for Mr. Big Threw a pick at us I caught it I have it somewhere Then Rush takes Oh and I think Rush had him open for him Because they had a song called uh, we love the Rush. I think some Rush tribute song, even though they didn't sound like Rush at all. Then Rush takes the stage, and it, they did. They, they might have done something from Twenty One Twelve. I don't remember. I just remember Alex Lifeson was right in front of us, and you could see all the sweat flying off his head. And great show. All that to say, this is the F- F- episode Twenty One Twelve here at Cafe Anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley, Ten, the last place on earth. Want to say hi out to Kevin He's been listening to a couple shows Mike's Daily Podcast Also out to Nate And to Ken And now I feel I feel like this is Romper Room I'm looking through the little mirror thing At the camera And I see you Kevin And I see you Chandra And I see you Penelope Well What was I going to get to on today's show the show's almost over, just letting you know. So you got this far. You might as well sit through the rest. It's that close. You can smell it. Psych. No, I wasn't just saying something and then meaning something else and going psych. No, I was saying that the TV show Psych, as we go outside a cafe anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley, Tin, the last place on earth. I've been watching all the episodes lately with my lovely lady friend. And in... You know, we took a break from watching it for a little bit And went on to YouTube And looked up Psych And all these uh, panels come up Where they talked in front of fans And they're so fun It's so fun to watch them interact with their fans And in fact, they're still doing the show They're making these one-off movies And I think I talked a little bit about Timothy Amundsen Who was on the show He played Carlton Lasseter on the show The actor, Timothy Amundsen, actually had a stroke about five years ago, I think. Like, check this out to show you how... And then uh, you know all about uh, Black Panther. Uh, The actor that plays him passed away. That was a shock, wasn't it? I mean, what happened? It's... and And he's so young. And it was colon cancer. And as as shocking as that is, um, Chadwick Boseman, at 43, passing away, there was a guy I knew named Matt Cooper who died of a similar circumstance. And he was younger than me, and he died in his 40s as well after battling, I think it was colon cancer, for his whole life, basically. But he got me really into podcasting. He had a great podcast called Pod Zeppelin. And we would discuss different ways of getting the podcast out there, getting people to know about it. Just a brilliant guy. I learned a lot about sound editing and working with multi-tracks from him. He was doing it all before I was, even though I was older than him. And he goes, sit down, old man. Let me show you how to do all this stuff. 
And we were using what was that called? Saw. Not the awful movie franchise that you may or may not love because you like that kind of gore. But no, it was called Saw. And I think it was something Windows had made. It was an early, early version of sound editing. And it was tough as heck to work with. You had to be super patient. And Matt Cooper was just a genius with it. Anyway, back to Chadwick Boseman. That was shocking. And he got a lot of... Well, Chris Evans wrote a really nice um, social media eulogy to him, as well as all all the other people that starred with him in the Avengers movies. So, yes, but we will... At some point, remember what I was getting. Oh, Timothy Amundsen. So he had, Timothy is still with us. Uh, in, he was standing in the Miami airport and he was in the bathroom and all of a sudden he felt like uh, his left arm hurt and then like his left leg went dead and he fell down. And he got up again. And then fell down again And this time he wakes up And the, you know, the paramedics are taking him to the hospital And luckily At, at that point he, he, he had suffered a stroke But what was amazing was He was in the, that city in Miami Was one of the best um, Stroke victim doctors He could work He was really good with helping people recover from strokes and, and to save them. He basically, his his brain was hemorrhaging really bad and they had to open up his skull and yeah, he still got a scar from that. This guy from Psych, this all happened to him. The guy who played Lassiter and he talks about it in a fantastic interview with Larry King, who by the way, Larry King has had a stroke himself and so they were talking back and forth about the whole thing having to do with strokes and why does that happen? And and recovering from those And so find that on YouTube But the guy, uh, Timothy Amundsen Just a, it, it's amazing So he, he can't really talk He has to talk in short bursts now And he said he's lost the ability to memorize He used to be able to memorize lines really quickly Being an actor, that's important That's why I could never be an actor I have I have a bad time memorizing things I can talk to you on a podcast For 15 minutes But to just memorize Lines and then spit them out It's very difficult At any rate All that to say We're loving Psych and we're watching it And we were learning a lot About all the interesting people Behind that show That comedy About a guy faking that he's psychic And he works for the police department in Santa Barbara Which is another reason why I like it Because I went to school in Santa Barbara Went to UCSB there And they reference a bunch of stuff In Santa Barbara Plus the lead guy reminds me of someone That I knew back in Santa Barbara Ventura area And so sort of like a, a, I know those people But uh, Mr. Timothy Amundsen Was and I hope I'm saying his name right I'm realizing now about halfway through the podcast That I probably have butchered his name Yeah, Amundsen Like, th- that's a Viking, isn't it? Ro- Raul Amundsen? No, he was the guy that went to the North Pole Or the South Pole One of those dudes um, Timothy just saying that You know, I mean, he goes Okay, so check this out This is all I'm leading up to this point And that was an amazing Question Larry asked him Timothy how How on earth Have you gone through You've gotten through Therapy Every single day This neurological therapy To get you to be able To even talk to me Right now um, To even be able To still act He he acted in The last Psych movie Which came out uh, This year Which by the way I watched The night before My dog Basil the Boxer Passed away And I remember Watching it going Oh this is so th- 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 It was really sad Because there's this one part Where Lassiter He's in a wheelchair And They wrote it cause In a way to mirror What actually had happened To Timothy His character is mirroring What happened in his life And he's just gone through therapy And he's about to get up And, and uh, he's seeing his wife And he's going to st- get out of the wheelchair And walk up over to his wife And, and hug her 
in the show. And the actress that plays his wife in the show is the one that was his wife in earlier episodes. I can't think of her name. But she was in jail for a while and lasted her waits for her until she comes back. At any rate, he hugs her. It's a really touching scene. And Corbin Burnson from Law and Order is in the scene kind of helping him. And you can tell all the cast members are kind of tearing up. So I remember watching that. And then the next morning, my dog passes away. It's a terrible day. Horrible day. Horrible weekend. Horrible month. Um, oh, I mean, you know, just mourning my dog. People were really supportive and kind, and, and I really appreciate that. My lovely lady friend was amazing through it all. But then, as Timothy Amundsen is telling um, Larry King about how he got through all of this, he says... Uh, my great grandfather, who I never met, he said he was a coal miner, and he was, you know, just tough as. I mean, what a career that is, going underground. The, the, the you you cheat death every day, basically. Um, their lungs, you know, black lung and all that, and Zoolander, yes. But Timothy Amundsen said I could just hear my great grandfather, who I have never met, saying to me, "Come on, Timothy, you can do this." You know, I've been through way worse than you have. You can do it. And he, he just, he, he imagined what his relatives, and, and you think about people today that complain about the smallest things, what the, what the generations ahead of us went through, it makes you go, eh, let's put this all in perspective. And the other thing Timothy said was that he, his next door neighbor came over to his house one day and said, hey, do you know a, a good neurological doctor? And Timothy's like, yeah, sure. Uh, wh- why do you need that? He goes, oh, you know, I think uh, I might be getting uh, multiple sclerosis. And Timothy's like, okay. So the guy went to the doctor and then the next day he comes back to see Timothy and, and he's got to his expression... He's it's ghostly white. He's just freaking out. And Timothy's like, what's what's up? And he said, "Um, I don't have MS. I actually have uh, ALS, which is basically a death sentence. And that's basically what my dog had was a, a, a dog version of that where you lose all use of everything. And it's. Wow, that was the connection right there From everything It was a bizarre connection At any rate, so all I'm saying is Our lives are very fragile And you have to enjoy them Because anything can happen And be thankful for what you have Is what I'm saying And we're outside a cafe anyway Somewhere in Podcastro Valley ten, The last place on earth And there's some people here at cafe anyway But first, I want to say hi out to Sylvia too uh, Who texted me and Wished me condolences with Basil Basil had a good life towards the end And and that's what Sylvia told me She goes, you gave him a good life And I did You just make enjoy what you have of life As much as you can And the podcast picture, in fact Is of a fun moment with Basil and I Uh, Two years ago, this happened We were My lovely lady friend and I Actually took Basil on Lake Chabot On one of those paddle boats and the whole time he looked like he wanted to get the heck off of that thing And then we got back to the dock uh, I said to my lovely lady friend I, since she, she, Oh, and she pedaled the whole time, by the way She pedaled me and my dog Incredible um, Then uh, I said, let me just take this for a spin I, I had never, you know, paddled on one of these things So I just did it by myself, pedaling away and Those are hard work They're Tough, tough to make those things move And Basil the Boxer is staring at me going, what the heck are you doing? So that's the podcast picture today. And you can see that at Mike's Daily Podcast. And uh, I think like if you listen to the show on radio.com, you can see the podcast picture as well. I think that's how it works. So see that. And I will do a quick video here for YouTube so I can make this podcast stop like just uh, like a Freaking freight train Like a freedom train just stopping This is episode 2112 
and it'll only be the only time this show is ever 2112. So I hope you enjoy it and you listen to it. Of course, if you're listening to this now, you are going, Mike, well, I'm listening to this now. Why are you saying this? It makes no sense. So enjoy that part of the podcast that you just got through. And look who's outside a cafe anyway. Hello, Mike Matthews. It's Shelly. You heart the gift jar supervisor. Wow, you had a lot of stories to tell today. I did. And I'm realizing I need to walk more because they say if you walk more, it helps with your cognitive ability. And so that all the little synapses are firing away in your brain. And I realize that my synapses need to fire off better so I can do a more cohesive, better podcast. So I think I shall walk more to help with that. Look who else is here. Oh, Mike, this is Floyd the Floor Man. And this is John Deere, the engineer. Mike, guess what a day today. And I hope you realize you can't have any barbecues going on. No, because it's spare the air. Oh, and I talk about that and other things. On tomorrow's show that you can hear at the website kkdv.com, there's a link at mikesdailypodcast.com. I'll be on that particular website live from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. tomorrow. And I think most Sundays from for at least the next month. So that's going to wrap up the show. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for putting up with my singing last show. And next show, we'll get to the wonderful Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player, the brewmaster. Oh, and I wanted to say about Psych 2 in that panel that we watched, Zachary Levi was in the panel. And it's funny because I met him years ago. He went to my ex-wife's high school. And at the time, I was on the radio doing my show called The Santa Fe Cafe, where some of these characters that you hear on Mike's Daily Podcast here at Cafe Anyway came from. And he was a listener back then. In fact, he told me, hey, I like your show. So there he was, Zachary Levi, super famous now and on stage. It was very interesting. Okay, that's the end of the show. Talk to you soon. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you, A-Frame. And you can tell me what you think about any of the topics that we covered at 336MM Daily. That's 3 plus 3 equals 6. MM as in Mike Matthews. Daily as in what this podcast will try to continue to be. And find out more at mikesdailypodcast.com.